It's been a little bit since I posted anything. Man, life is just, uh, sometimes it just hits you all at once, you know, and things just get crazy. So, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't uh, posted any videos in a little bit or a little while. So, I was just trying to get, get things caught up and trying to manage some of the chaos that's been going on. Uh, got a lot of good things going on, you know, a couple bad things that happen and stuff too. But, uh, uh, me and my wife, we're working through it. So, you know, we're hanging in there and everything. Doing what we can, so but appreciate you guys being here and taking the time to watch some of my videos and everything and subscribing if you want to. Uh, appreciate that for sure. So, but uh, as you guys are seeing on the title of this video, old tractor here is at 200 hours. So we're going to do a 200 hour service on it. Um, it's got like 195 hours there, so. I just want to get it done and get it taken care of uh, before winter comes. It's going to be here before you know it. So, but yeah, anyways, that's uh, what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of getting the 200 hours of service done, uh, changing the oil, uh, hydraulic fluid. Put Alrighty, we got the uh, tractor warmed up here. Took it for a little putt down the road. Uh, warmed up and everything, but uh, I was looking through the book and I guess I misunderstood or I, I thought that it was uh, the $200 service was the big service on these tractors, but I was looking through here and let's see if I can zoom in for you guys here. So, 200 hour service. You got your engine oil, engine oil filter, um, HST filter, no hydraulic filter, no transmission fluid, front axle no, pivot no, then you got your engine greasing, wheel bolt torque, all the stuff that you're supposed to check anyways on that stuff. Air filter, clean, fan belt, adjust, brake, all that stuff. Um, to back to the 200, tow-in, so it's adjust on the 200 hour, and then nothing else. But, so I thought the 200 hour service was one where you replace all the filters, or all the fluids, fluids, and everything, but it's actually the 400. As you can see here, you come down, and that's where you change your transmission fluid, for axle case oil. So, yeah, it looks like the 400 hour service is where you want to change the transmission fluid, hydraulic fluid, and all that. So, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Yeah, so I'm not real sure what I'm going to do here. Uh, when I went and picked this stuff up, I told the service guy at the front counter what I was doing. I said I needed the supplies to do a 200-hour service and on a Kubota B2301, and this is what he what he gave me, you know. And I was thinking the same thing, too, that this was the one where you change all the fluids and everything in it. But it's not. You just change the HST filter, so... I still have another 200 hours to go. I'm kind of debating on just go ahead and doing it anyways. I mean, it's, I know it's early to get it done, but um, I'm going to think about it a little bit and I'll, I'll get back to you and let you, let you guys know what I decide here. I'll go from there. All right. Stay tuned. All righty. Well, I've got the buckets and everything out here right now. So I think what we'll do when I'm thinking about this, I'll go ahead and get the oil changed. Uh, we know we need that, that needs to be done anyways, and I'm going to stew on whether or not I'm just going to change the transmission fluid. Um, right now or not, just get it done with since i got everything here and I'm doing it. So, Alright, well, let's get the oil, the engine oil change started and we'll get going here. And I'll stop jabbering. So, we're underneath the, tr we're underneath the tractor here. 
And these are the two drain plugs right here that you have to take out to drain the oil. They made the um, oil pan kind of go, go around this dry line here, which pretty good idea that we could get all the, and put two plugs on it to get all the oil out. So we'll get, get these taken out and get the oil drain in here and move on to the next thing is why this one is draining. We'll get you guys set up here so you can see. Okay, we got one loose. Don't copy me if you have to. Okay, well, we got them broke loose. Uh, so I used the 916s because I wonder if that's gonna fit both of those in there. Lose the copper um, washer on this on these ones. Let me make sure that's on there. Good, both fit. Man, that oil is black. So I took the oil cap off first, that way um, I think it kind of helps drain it better. It's air in there, kind of like a what is it? like a gas can, you know, or whatever. Um, make sure you don't lose these copper washers here that go on to it under these plugs. They're just cleaned up. So I was just looking here in the book and looking, you go to specifications, page two, and it tells you what, um, how many quarts to put in it. So engine crankcase with filter, uh, let's see, liters 3.1, US quarts 3.3. And then you go down to transmission case, uh, let's see, US gallons. So 15 liters, four US gallons is what it takes. So basically, I think two of those, two of those bad boys. All right, well, we'll go and get this engine oil put in here and get her taken care of.
does say to clean the fuel filter. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put a new one in it. I already have it here. So at 100 hours and at 200 hours, it says to clean it. So I think they're like 15 bucks at my dealer here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a new fuel filter on it and call it good. It should stop leaking here pretty soon. There you go. So when you take the filter off, it automatically it doesn't drain all the um, diesel out of your gas tank there. So you want to remember how this goes in. And I'll show you guys here. Let's go ahead and. Towel set up here. So here's the new one. Um, one thing I didn't remember to get was the gasket for it. So I think we can reuse this one here. It's got to be a pull that out. Get a little screwdriver. Let's try to clean. There's your gasket right there. You don't want to lose that. Get out of here usually. Just like that. It is actually pretty, pretty dirty. There we go. Hold on, new one. We don't want to lose those at all. At all, at all. Well, I apologize about that. I think the, that got cut kind of short. I didn't realize my phone died when I was cleaning up the bowl on that uh, fuel filter and stuff there. So I got my phone plugged in, so you guys are, are tethered to the wall right now. But we'll go ahead and finish this up. Hopefully I'll be able to get this part for you guys. And uh, maybe it'll help you. Hopefully, maybe it won't. So, all right, well, let's uh, hope that my phone will stay on and we're we'll going to get this job finished here. All right, so I got everything cleaned up here. I got the bowl cleaned out the best I could. So I got it, it looks pretty clean. So I'm going to wipe off these gaskets. Like I said, I forgot to get new gaskets. So I think they said I could reuse them. Um, that's what they told me last time. So these are these are brand new. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off a little bit and put this little 
gasket. Wipe him off a little bit here. And put him down in there. So you put the little gasket down in there. And I think you put, so it's got these little tabs right here. You can see that, which you know one's that gasket right here. And there's little, there's little tabs or slots in here as well. So you gotta get that line lined up with it. On the outside. Doesn't matter which way, I don't think. Let's try and turn it. Slide down in there like that. Then you take your other gasket like this. Hopefully it'll work. Not stretched out or anything. Pray it doesn't leak. Let's see if we can do this. And it automatically fills back up. You can turn it as far as you can. Hopefully it doesn't leak on you when you start it up. And that looks better already. So I did say it takes, it might die on you when you first start it, but uh, just give it a little bit. Um, cycle, it'll, it'll start eventually to at least once or twice. I think the last time I did it, it took two times to get it started. You don't have to prime them or do anything like that on these engines anymore, like you did the old ones back in the day. Okay, so that job is done. So I'm looking here in the book, um, right there, 400 hours again, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the hydraulic fluid, or, um, transmission fluid, it's one in the same. Uh, it says right here, these are the drain plugs. Try and get a better picture for you guys. So one and two right there. One's up by the mid-mount PTO, and the other one is back here. So I'm going to get in the tractor. i got buckets under there. I'm going to go ahead and get it drained out here and replace the filters, put new hydraulic fluid in it, and it'll be ready to rock and roll. I kind of want to show you guys this here. So, I'll try to get up here closer. So, there's actually three drain plugs to drain the hydraulic fluid 
get my hand out of the way. One is right here. The first one is right there by the mid-mount PTO. Right there. The second and third one, I'm trying to get a good angle here for you, is the one in the middle back here on the um, axle housing here, I guess is the term I would use. Um, I thought it was this one here by the HST, or the hydraulic filter, but it's not. Um, it's the one, there's one on both sides over there, but you can see where it's draining out, so it's not the first, but it's the second one there. It's the smaller one of the two right there. It's right there in the middle, and there's one on both sides of the axle housing here, the transfer case here in the back that you drain out. So the picture is a little bit um, deceptive on that, I guess. Not quite clear enough. It looks like it was that one, but it's not. So just so you guys know, there's actually three drain plugs to drain the all the hydraulic fluid out of here. So we'll go ahead and get the um, HS or the HST and hydraulic filters off. Get those drained out and put on new ones here. Put the plugs back in and get this thing filled back up, and we'll be we'll be done. Ready to rock and roll. is there's these little washers that have these little rubber rings on them. I want this in focus. There we go. And it's on each drain plug. So it was actually stuck onto the tractor when I took the drain plug out. So be careful when you guys take the drain plugs out. Make sure that these don't fall into the oil bucket and you guys miss it because it was stuck to the tractor and I wouldn't have even known. It actually fell off when I screw in it, putting it back in. So be careful, make sure you, that you get these rubber, um, looks like washers with little rubber seals in them back on and they don't fall off without you noticing. fill it up with the hydraulic transmission fluid here and hopefully we'll be done with it.
Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Um, I know I was probably um, $200 early on the hydraulic fluid and stuff, but like my wife had reminded me there about power washing it and everything, and I was just a little bit worried some water got into it. So uh, just better to be safe than sorry. I mean, it, it wasn't too much more money to just go and get it done. And I have peace of mind now going into winter that uh, the fluid should be should be good to go, you know, should be taken care of. Um, I do realize, like, in the backhoe and stuff, there's still hydraulic fluid in it. May have a touch of water or something in it, but I think just changing the whole, the main part of it, especially on a tractor with uh, both filters, is really going to help, you know, with all that. So, um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's ready to go. I still have a couple other things I need to do. I need to add some shims to my snow pusher because uh, the only one that had in stock when I went in to get it was the one that's for the BX. It's a 60 inch, um, but it doesn't adjust up and down. The runners don't. So, and I just put all that new gravel on the driveway this summer, got it all fixed up. And I don't want to, you know, push all my gravel off my driveway and stuff. So, I need to get that taken care of. We got to put the chains still on the rear tires and uh, go get the back plate and three point get that stuff hooked back on so still got a few things to do um, doesn't look like in the weather it's gonna snow hopefully anytime soon but it's hard to say it has gotten colder here um, the lows are dipping down into uh, the mid-20s right now so winter's on its way right now and I tell you that's I think it's gonna be a doozy I really do I think uh, we're in for quite a bit of snow but Who's to know? I'm not a weather guy. That's for damn sure. So, well, I appreciate you guys sticking with me um, through this. I know it's a little bit confusing when I was going back and forth, but I hope that it uh, helps one of you guys out. You know, if you guys are looking to do the 200 or the 400 hour service on these tractors, uh, where the drain plugs and stuff are at, because in the book, it's kind of hard to kind of tell where those drain plugs are at back on the um, rear differential back there so yeah anyways uh, I think I'll stop rambling on here and I think it's about time to go eat some dinner here well like I said uh, uh, it's been a couple of crazy few weeks here um, haven't been able to post anything so I definitely want to get something out to you guys here and um, hope this helps so but other than that I don't have much more to say, so hope you guys are all doing well out there, um, especially with everything going on here in our country. It's uh, pretty crazy right now, um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, you know, stick together, stay with your families, you know, um, encourage each other and try, and try and help each other out where we can, you know. I think as long as we do that, we'll be able to make it through going on so alrighty well like I said we got a lot, a lot of other projects to do and uh, hopefully I'll be available to put those on video and get them out to you guys so alright well you guys take care and all the best and we'll catch you on the next one